Uh, so in terms of that optimism uh, that we are seeing playing out in stocks today, even in Europe, where we had seen elevated volatility levels, we are seeing it come down to some extent today. Coming down pretty sharply, one of the metrics we've talked about over the last few weeks is the spread that's developed or had developed between V2X, which is Europe's equivalent of VIX, and our spot VIX, and that had wind out uh, to levels we hadn't seen in several years. V2X in Europe touched almost 29. Consider that last October and December, when it spiked fairly sharply, it was only at 30. So uh, relatively high compared to the last year or so, and that is in pretty sharply today, obviously, with markets up you know, very significantly in Europe and, and strong in the U.S. as well. Yeah, we'll see if that optimism is borne out. Um, I want to get to your trade today because it's an interesting one. Given all of the M&A activity we have had recently, and obviously there's been a lot, there's a lot of talk about the health insurance industry mm -hmm. today, um, you guys over at MKM have been trying to use the options market to try and predict the next m and targets. Um, and so what have you guys found and how exactly do you go about doing that? So in the listed option market in the U.S., there are plenty of institutional clients that want to use the intelligence that's embedded, don't necessarily trade it. Obviously, there are others that use plenty of options, but there is plenty of information that we can pull out of the listed option market. As it relates specifically to events, inclusive in that would be m and uh, you know, one metric you can look at that's very straightforward is skew, and that looks at uh, implied volatility of puts relative to calls. Mm -hmm. Typically, puts have higher implied volatility than calls in a single stock or an index. What happens when the market anticipates an event or what can happen is call implied volatility gets bid relative to puts. It's the market saying that they expect event in this case to the upside because they're paying more for calls. So what is one of the targets that you're seeing here and, and what's the trade on it? So so one of the targets, we, just to uh, just to finish that, we created uh, a six-factor uh, algorithm using SKU, looking at term structure, other metrics. One of the names that sort of floated to the top that we happen to cover is Hilton HLT, and it really is a very good example of this. Uh, you're talking about a, a company that recently did a secondary Blackstone took their ownership down below 50 percent. Uh, There's now speculation of inclusion into the S&P 500. Mm -hmm. We expect them to announce a dividend next quarter. They might be spinning uh, their lodging assets into a REIT, spinning off their timeshare assets. A lot of events here. That is in the top five of this list that we created. And uh, very simply, what we want to do is play along with the market expectations. Mm -hmm. So we've got a $35 price target. It's trading 28 and change here. So we really agree with how the, the listed option market is set up. We want to go out to October. It captures July mm -hmm. uh, earnings and some of these potential events. We want to buy 29, 34 call spreads. You pay it about a dollar 30 for that. It creates a potential 3.3 to one payoff with the stock 34 or higher at expiration.